All right, let's look at the results for the 2800 kV motor. As you guys saw, uh, it was measured at 2640 actually. So that's a bit lower than the specified 2800. Uh, so let's see what that does for the thrust results. On 3 inch, uh, yes, we can see that the lower kV does definitely have an effect uh, compared to the higher kV motors. We'll see side by side comparisons in a little bit. So yeah, on 3 inch, uh, this motor is lacking a little bit on, on thrust. Uh, it'll fly, you know, it'll make uh, your quad fly, but uh, if you're used to, most people are used to like hot motors, so uh, with a lot of power, so th this might not be something that they want. Uh, but uh, one thing to consider is look at the amps, uh, it's pretty, pretty efficient, so if you're not looking for raw power, you just kind of want to fly around. Uh, uh, this could, uh, on a very light build, this could be uh, an excellent motor and it'll just give you a lot of flight time. Now one thing I didn't, I did not test is on 5S because uh, I'm afraid to, to fry the motor on 5S. On these little motors don't, you know, they, the heat builds up too much once it start getting hot and uh, I, di I didn't want to mess it up, I didn't want to fry it. So. But uh, as we know, there's uh, quite a few people flying the 32-3500 kV motors and the 3600 kV motor, they're flying it on 5S and 3 inch props, so I have no doubt that this motor will do well on, on 5S, so that's something that you guys can try. Uh, okay, so as we move on to the larger props, uh, the 4 inch, uh, it's, it starts to wake up, 500 grams at 11 amps. Pretty, pretty respectable, that should be uh, a good amount of thrust. It's still a little bit behind the 30, what the 3600 kV motors uh, make. Uh, then as we go on to the triple blade props, uh, thrust starts to go up. Amps are still pretty manageable, so that's one of the one of the good things about this motor. The compression, you'll see the difference. Uh, 600 grams for the T4045 dial, uh, one of the props that people are flying these days. And on the 5 inch props, uh, uh, also uh, a pretty good thrust and very, very manageable amps. So now let's quickly look at the side by side uh, comparison and see how it does uh, compared to the, to the 3600 kV so you guys can get an idea. Alright, comparing to the 3600 kV motor. As you can see on 3 inch props, uh, definitely uh, definitely the, the 3600 kV is going to be a lot more uh, responsive, uh, making quite a considerable higher amount of thrust. Uh, comparing the 3x3x4, it's uh, nearly 200 grams uh, more of thrust on the 3600 kV. So definitely uh, for 3 inch, you definitely need a need and want higher kV so so for 3 inch on 4S uh, this one uh, might not be a good match you may have to go to 5S uh, if if what you're looking for is the same level of the high level of performance so uh, as we move on to the 4 inch prop the 4045 uh, which is another another prop that people like to use uh, it's a lot better on on this uh, 2800 kV motor still uh, lagging behind the 3600 kV but uh, but you have to also consider the amounts of amps used so so on the 2800 you can see it's a very very low amps on this one so this would be a good match for uh, f uh, for this motor this prop and it should give you a decent amount of thrust uh, if you just want to kind of fly around and do some uh, acro but it's it's not going to be as powerful as this but it, 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 I think it would be worth trying this prop or the other one it would be the the triple blade the T4045 that's another prop that would match well uh, you get 100 grams more and very very decent amount of uh, uh, amps very manageable uh, for 5 inch the more thrust and still very decent amount of amps compared to the 3600 uh, uh, still 200 grams difference or so but uh, the the amps are definitely the the good thing here so so this motor would be pretty good for the super light builds 
and the five inch prop four inch prop would would be quite a good match and 5s uh, some people wanted uh, want to fly 5s this could be a motor that uh, they can try on 5s and 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 you know it's not it's gonna keep the temps should keep the temps down on the motor compared to the 3600 which in some cases might be running too hot especially in the summer heat uh, the 2800 kV motor could possibly do better on in the heat but uh, at this point it's hard to say if that's what's gonna happen uh, I mean I'm just basing it off the the amount of power that is uh, dissipating so so this could probably handle the heat better uh, but uh, you know not until you guys try it uh, you'll find out that's the only thing I can I can't tell from these tests uh, well keep in mind these uh, amps are uh, somewhat exaggerated here on the static thrust test uh, by about uh, anywhere from 25 to 35 percent higher than what you would see on on actual flight uh, so that's just because you know the, it's it's static it motors not moving uh, we have uh, I'm using a dedicated power supply so there's no there's no lipo voltage sag involved so the the voltage remains high throughout the the test run so it's able to pull m more amps and we're just running one motor of uh, the power supply whereas when you have it on the quad uh, you have qu four motors and you have a, a s very small battery that uh, is not able to supply these many amps for uh, perhaps for a very short bu burst but not definitely not for um, uh, for a prolonged burst if you keep uh, banging on the throttle after a few throttle bursts uh, the, the voltage just definitely sags anyway uh, that's the results I uh, hope you guys find that useful and until the next video thanks for watching